When solving the simple interest formula for time, a whole number in the answer represents years and a decimal represents a portion of a year. The decimal should be converted to days by multiplying it by 360 for ordinary interest or 365 for exact interest. Lending institutions consider any part of a day to be a full day. Therefore, any fraction of a day is rounded up to the next higher day even if it's less than 0.5. For example, an answer of 3 means 3 years. An answer of 3.22 means 3 years and 0.22 of the next year. Assuming ordinary interest, multiply the decimal portion of the answer, 0.22, by 360. This gives 79.2, which represents the number of days. The total time of the loan would be 3 years and 80 days. Remember to always round up any fraction of a day. Remember, when time, t, is calculated, any fraction of a day is rounded up to the next day even if it's less than 0.5. For example, 25.1 days would be rounded up to 26 days. When using the simple interest formula to solve for t, we isolate the t on one side of the equation by dividing both sides of the equation by pr. This yields a new equation as follows, time equals interest over principal times rate, or t equals i over pr. We can also find the formula using the magic triangle by covering the unknown variable t as follows, so t equals i over pr. Here's an example. What would be the time period of a loan for $7,600 at 11% ordinary interest if the amount of interest is $290? Step 1. Substitute the known variables into the equation, so t equals 290 over 7600 times 0.11. Calculate the denominator first. 7600 times 0.11 equals 836. Next, divide the numerator by the denominator. 290 over 836 equals 0.3468899. Step 4. Using ordinary interest, we multiply the entire decimal by 360 to find the number of days of the loan. t equals 0.3468899 times 360 equals 124.8 or 125 days.